Usually in the scriptures, Mary is honored in special ways. Today, she got a little backhanded compliment, but it was a source of Jesus educating us, discussing who are his family members. Let's go back to the book of Samuel, because the Samuel activities today, bringing the, the Ark of the Covenant into David's tent and them celebrating it, was a way of the people of Israel realizing that they are God's family. When the Ark of the Covenant was set in place, and David danced in front of it, and people, you know, blow the horns and hit the timbrels and all that, and the festivity was going on, and everyone got a piece of, piece of the meat that was sacrificed, which is usual. It was great festivity because they were celebrating the presence of God in their midst, and they were in God's midst as they believed the presence of God followed the ark which held the tablets of the, of the covenant, the Ten Commandments, the ark of the covenant. So they're celebrating in the tent that was God's house, in a sense. It was storage as place for the ark. And while they're going on and he's celebrating, they come to realize that they're having a meal to celebrate the presence of God amongst them. And then they all got a piece of something and went to their own homes. It's very similar, not the same, as we do here. We come to church, we sing, we praise, especially when there's music. If not, you just follow my hallelujah. Um, <laughs> and we praise the Lord, and we acknowledge that he's here, he's present among us. We receive him, and then we go home to bring him home, not in bread necessarily, unless we're Eucharistic ministers, but we bring him home within ourselves. So we bring God home, we bring Jesus home, or to a pl place of work, or wherever else we're going, knowing that we've been fed by God, we've been fed the body of Christ, his, his son. So now, as we hear the scriptures and we hear Mark giving us this very unusual gathering, he's, Jesus is with his friends, and he calls his family. Those who listen to his word and do God's will become his family. His biological mother is there, and his, the, the, the term brothers and sisters mean his, his neighbors from probably where Mary lived, from uh, Galilee. So they're with her, and they're looking for Jesus, and they, they use the phrase, your mother's here. Your brothers and sisters are here from your hometown. Now, most of us would, oh, how nice, let's go out and see them. But he stopped, because the bigger message was not that Mary is coming. The bigger message is that those who heal, those who see, those who hear the word of God, become his members of his family. So that, that's us, you, you and me. We become the members of, well, we figure we become the members of Jesus at our birth and our baptism, yes. But we continue that family tradition because we come to be fed by Jesus. And being fed by Jesus, we acknowledge that he is God and that we depend on him, that we need him. And then we go home. We bring him home. It's so beautiful to realize that wherever we go, not only today, but wherever we go today, we're bringing Jesus with us. And wherever we go today, he's with us. And we're members of his family, and we're there, wherever we are. Interesting how we leave Jesus, excuse me, we don't leave Jesus in the church, we take Jesus with us. Based on his word, that's, that's, that's his teaching, not ours, that whoever hears his word becomes members of his family. So I guess it's up to us now to continue enjoying Jesus, and we enjoy him by listening to his word and the scriptures, by following his examples, and as at the end of Mass, when we offer the sacrament of, of healing again, we're enjoying his word, we're, we're thanking him for his presence, and thanking him for making us part of his 
Holy Family.